okay YouTube here's a different one this well that's one of my cameras lenses yeah okay what we have here is a PTZ camera this is the controller this is my monitor hey look at that isn't that cool zoom around zoom out PTZ stands for pan tilt zoom Yay, light. It's the auto flip feature. I think that's pretty cool. May get it to go into color. The light's low enough down here, it doesn't like going into color. It goes in black and white or monochrome when the light's low. I'm guessing there's my Dremel. Zoomed in too far. But let's look at the camera real quick. That's This is showing. Okay, I could put it on auto pan, which will do that. And basically, it's just rotating around. Here it is. This is a Pelco Spectra 3. Um, it's supposed to have this on there. That kind of muffles it some. See, it's just going around in circles. Um, this thing is pretty cool. What you're hearing running is the fans. There's like two in there. There's one to cool this off, and there's one down below in here and it blows air up over this inside that dome and I think it's even got a heater in there for in the winter it'll blow heat it'll blow warm air in there to like keep ice from forming on this so you can have a clean picture um, those dip switches control like your RS-485 addresses and stuff like that it's just spinning away this thing's pretty cool I picked it up for a whopping five bucks uh, this arm alone, just the metal arm, costs like 90 or to 100, I think. This thing here was probably several hundred, maybe 100 or so. The dome, just this part that's turning and the piece it mounts on, sold originally for around like 2,690 or so. I mean, it was expensive. It's made by Pelco, and they're made in USA, so it's, it's good stuff. It's professional quality stuff by far. You can program it to do like a program tour, it'll go one way, then go back, and go one way and go back. I made a, a cable to program it. It's using Cat5 standard Cat5 patch cord. And this are uh, serial to 8P8C connector. And basically you set the pins in here, uh, the, the three serial pins, transmit, receive, and ground, go to um, certain pins on the patch cord and you can pop the little pins in there and make this yourself um, unfortunately I can't get the software to work on the computer which is supposed to make it work to program it, I don't know if I got the bad serial port or if it's too new, I have to, I, my Windows 98 computer crashed which I use for programming older stuff It may need to do, do it with something that's true DOS, I don't know but that's pretty cool we'll go back over here and look at this okay there it's in color mode Oh, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna. It did the auto flip when it gets to the. Here's a cool one. Now this thing's upside down, obviously, and there it went back to black and white. This is my other security camera. We're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna show you the label on the lens of that other camera. This is how good this thing is. How good of a lens this one that we're viewing has. This is an American Dynamics little box camera, a little sensormatic. You probably can't see it on here, but you can read that whole part number of that lens on this screen. I've got my little multiplexer switcher up here. It's not even hooked up right now. I've got this direct wired into there in my old computer. Actually, that I could probably use that computer to do that. I don't know. And and backup power supply for the Everse up there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I paid five bucks for that. And I got this on eBay for so around a little bit around twenty five or like thirty something I think. It's an older one. It's the Coaxitron System two thousand, I think, or something like that. So yeah. 
pretty cool setup. I'll zoom back out. You can move it while you're zooming. My basement ceiling, lovely. And my tool rack, watch this. Oh, there's the Dremel. Okie doke. Well, thanks guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye.